Well, today we are doing the Tool Time Tuesdays. It's a year-long challenge, that are, and there's a list of people who are playing along. And essentially what happens is that every Tuesday during the month, you're going to get a different creator adding some inspiration. I'm always going to be on the third Tuesday of the month because I like the t -t -t the third Tool Time Tuesdays. I like the alliteration that goes along with that. So this month we're focusing in on stencils and what I did is I used a stencil that is a brick. Now the reason I'm using a brick stencil is because I'm still playing along with the Farmhouse Summer Collection. I haven't put it away yet and that collection does a lot of farmhouse-y things and when I think farmhouse or houses or family or anything like that I think brick. Just where my mind goes to it may not be where you're going to but that's what I did and I chose to use a blending brush and blended some fire brick red from distress oxide and then I added some water drops and soaked them up with a paper towel which I still have yet to throw away so that's my stenciling very super simple and what I'm doing is I'm replacing a piece of pattern paper in a sketch that I found so I'm using two six by six pieces of paper and I am going like that sort of with my papers so they're lined up to cover up a row of bricks or being in line with a row of bricks and I could put another six by six piece of paper here but I'm choosing to keep it as the bricks which is perfect I've got two photos here and um, both of these people's names start with J and J so I am going to have my title be double J's hanging out so something along the lines of these somewhere maybe like right there or not exactly sure of placement um, I thought I had it like this. So we can shift these up a little bit maybe. I don't know. We're going to see when I get my cluster there where I want this. So again farmhouse feeling when you're hanging out you're sitting on the couch or whatever you want to sit on. So I'm just going to shift things so that it looks like that all looks nice and neat. So just like that. We've got the double J's hanging out. Goodness. Struggling a little bit here, sorry. I think I want something like that. Don't like that gap there. There we go. Double J's hanging out. So that's my one cluster. And I'm going to add a couple things to it. I'm going to add a flower plant because I want to get this blue from over here to over here already got the green maybe I mm, kind of go like this fussing with it a little bit and I don't need to until I actually adhere but I'm still fussing sorry <laughs> Whoops. so something like that and then I'm gonna actually use this little the good life tag to get some yellow up in that cluster and then I'm breaking out my bash kit and I'm going to use some of the wood grain or wood veneer cameras. So that looks pretty good. Okay, now we got two more clusters. I'm going to go ahead and do a cluster right up here to do the visual triangle deal. And it's going to kind of hang off the edge here on that piece of paper. And I'm going to get another camera right there. Now notice in the lens of these cameras, there's J's. Little nod to my title. Then I just love this piece of ephemera. It says, come sit and stay a while, which is perfect when you're talking about hanging out. So my third cluster is going to go down here on the lower left. 
I'm going to bring in some gray, which is fine. I just really like this um, windmill in this collection. It's like my favorite piece in the collection. <laughs> okay, so it's going to kind of hang off there, kind of like that. And then I'm going to use my third camera with a letter 2 in there in red this time. And it's going to stand like right there. And that, my friends, is how you super swoop, super simple, super quick, get a layout done. And you used a stencil to accomplish what you needed to accomplish. I'll make sure to list how you can hop along with everybody this month as they use stencils on their layouts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.